This is an orientation area we have built on our Second Life Island. The students navigate and interact with objects in the virtual world using their keyboard and mouse, much like how you would in a third-person video game. The purpose of the area is to orient and familiarize new students to the Second Life virtual world environment. The students log into the Second Life Island with their avatar and receive a link to teleport to the area from the instructor. The instructor then shows them how to walk to the billboards in the area that describe to the student important concepts and techniques to navigate and interact with their surroundings in the virtual world as well as the Second Life user interface. These billboards include relevant keyboard and mouse shortcuts, screenshots that indicate to the student where to click in the Second Life client, and finally an explanation of the depicted actions. Concepts covered include the various methods of ground movement, such as walking and running, camera control, text and voice communication, both public and private, minimap use, avatar username and nicknames, inventory management, teleporting, adding friends, and finally, yes, even flying. That last one is especially popular. Along with billboards, we have also placed key objects along their orientation journey that relate to the specific knowledge being covered. Good examples of these are the parts covering camera control, sitting, and flying. I will talk about each. In Second Life, you can focus and examine anything on the island that has been drawn on the screen. You can do this even from a distance. This is camera control. So we want the students to be able to realize that they can zoom in on the individual fish in the aquarium, for example, or the pictures of the precision measurements on the wall instead of walking up to the object. As for sitting, we have placed several virtual chairs, a coffee table, etc in order for the students to practice in this part of the orientation. If they try to sit on the coffee table, they will realize that it doesn't work as good as a chair just like in real life. The last example is flying. We intentionally left this concept until the conclusion of the orientation. We did this both so students don't fly through and potentially miss interacting with the other areas, but also as a way for us to reward the students in completing their orientation training. So when they reach the end, they really have earned their wings both figuratively and metaphorically. This orientation area serves as a great interactive training tool that helps the instructor teach students how to navigate and interact in a Second Life virtual world through hand and eye coordination, spatial recognition, critical problem solving, and attention to detail.